Hello, Packers fan. Today, we're talking about a news story that could significantly impact our season. Recently, the team lost a key player, and this could be a major issue for our plans. Marshawn Lloyd, who was preparing to boost our running game, is now out for a considerable time due to an injury. This situation could be a tough blow for the Packers and will require quick adjustments to keep the team strong. In this video, we'll explore how this absence might affect the team and who could fill the void left by Lloyd. So, stay with us until the end to understand what this change means for our season and how the team can adjust to move forward. Go Pack Go! Marshawn Lloyd was one of the Packers' biggest hopes to help with the running game. He arrived with high expectations after being drafted in the third round, and the plan was for him to lighten Josh Jacobs' workload, who was already being heavily utilized. But, early in the season, the bad news came. Lloyd suffered a hamstring injury, which kept him out of the first game. Even so, the Packers believed he could return quickly and contribute. After a week of limited practices, Lloyd finally made his debut in the last game. Although still listed as questionable, he played as the RB2, right behind Jacobs. However, the relief he could have brought was short-lived. Soon after his debut, the team announced Lloyd would be placed on the injured reserve list, missing at least four weeks. This news was a cold shower, especially since the Packers were counting on him to share the responsibilities in the backfield. Now, without Lloyd, the Packers need to find solutions quickly. The team was already trying not to overburden Jacobs, and the rookie's absence makes this task even more challenging. The impact of this injury goes beyond the running game, as the offense as a whole relies on the ability to rotate the roster to avoid injuries. With Lloyd out, the focus now shifts to who will need to fill this gap. Marshawn Lloyd came to the Packers with great expectations as the team's second running back, a crucial position to help Josh Jacobs share the workload. Drafted in the third round, Lloyd promised to bring a mix of speed and power to the Packers' running game. The idea was for him to become a key piece, relieving Jacobs of the heavier runs and ensuring effective rotation in the backfield. Unfortunately, the hamstring injury, which kept him out of the first game, limited his initial contribution. Even after this pause, Lloyd made his debut in the last game, where he showed some of his potential by running as the RB2. Despite playing only one game, Lloyd's presence was noticeable, and the fans were eager to see more from him. However, the news of him being placed on the injured reserve list for at least four weeks was a hard blow for the team. With Lloyd's departure, the focus now is on how the Packers will adjust the backfield. The team needs to find a solution to fill this gap and ensure the running game continues to function well. Emmanuel Wilson, who will have a more significant role, is at the center of this adjustment. Marshawn Lloyd's absence presents a significant challenge for the Packers, who were counting on him to strengthen the running back group and provide greater depth. With Lloyd out, Josh Jacobs will have to shoulder an even heavier load, which could lead to faster wear and increase the risk of injuries. The strategy of having multiple options in the backfield to keep the team competitive now needs to be rethought. Additionally, Lloyd's injury affects not only the physical aspect of the game, but also alters the team's tactical planning. Without him, the Packers lose the possibility of having a second running back who could change the tempo of the game and offer new options for the offense. This could impact the game strategies and offensive balance the team had planned for this season. The pressure now falls on the other players to fill this gap and maintain the effectiveness of the offense. As the team looks for solutions, the performance of other players like Emmanuel Wilson and Chris Brooks becomes even more crucial. They will need to demonstrate that they can contribute significantly and keep the running game going without Lloyd's presence. Finding a reliable replacement for Lloyd is vital to ensure the Packers remain competitive and that Jacobs is not overburdened. With Marshawn Lloyd on the injured reserve list, the Packers need to quickly find a solution for the void left in the backfield. One of the main alternatives is Emmanuel Wilson, who, with Lloyd's injury, is expected to take on a more significant role as the RB2. The hope is that Wilson can increase his workload and contribute more consistently, especially after a modest rookie season. He has the chance to prove he can be a valuable support for Josh Jacobs. Another option the Packers have considered is Chris Brooks, who was promoted from the practice squad to the active roster. 
Brooks is a rookie who had a promising season with the Dolphins last year, and now the Packers hope he can bring the necessary boost to the running back group. With only 19 carries last year, his experience is still limited, but he has the potential to adapt quickly and contribute when needed. The success of these alternatives will be crucial for the team's continued performance. Wilson and Brooks' ability to integrate well into the offensive scheme and maintain the effectiveness of the running game will be critical to the team's balance. As the team adjusts its strategy to compensate for Lloyd's absence, the performance of these players will determine how the Packers' offense adapts and remains competitive. With Marshawn Lloyd's absence, the responsibility of carrying the Packers' running game falls even more heavily on Josh Jacobs. Jacobs has shown remarkable performance, racking up 104 yards in the first game and impressing with 151 yards in the last game. However, the intense workload could lead to significant physical wear. Keeping Jacobs healthy is crucial for the Packers to continue competing effectively. The Packers need to find a way to distribute the carries so as not to overload Jacobs. This will not only help keep Jacobs fresh, but also allow the team to maximize the performance of the running game. If Jacobs is forced to carry the team for an extended period, the risk of injury increases, which could have an even more negative impact on the Packers' season. The effective integration of Emmanuel Wilson and Chris Brooks will be key to alleviating the pressure on Jacobs. If they can contribute significantly and efficiently, it will allow Jacobs to have rest periods and stay in good form throughout the season. Balance and depth in the backfield will be decisive for the Packers' continued success and ensuring Jacobs can maintain the level of performance the team needs. Marshawn Lloyd will be out for at least four weeks due to his injury, meaning the Packers will have to adapt without him for a considerable time. Lloyd's prolonged recovery not only affects the current running back rotation, but also raises questions about his long-term impact on the season. The team will need to deal with this absence and plan for the future of the backfield while waiting for the rookie's return. While Lloyd is out, the Packers will have the opportunity to assess the contributions of other players like Emmanuel Wilson and Chris Brooks. They need to show they can not only fill the gap left by Lloyd, but also establish themselves as reliable options for the team. How these players perform during Lloyd's absence could influence future decisions regarding the running back position. Lloyd's return will be a crucial point for the Packers, as the team had hoped he would be an important part of the offensive scheme. The challenge will be integrating Lloyd back into the team and ensuring he is fully recovered and ready to contribute as soon as he can return. Until then, the team must focus on adjusting its strategy and maximizing the potential of the available running backs to maintain competitiveness throughout the season. So, Packers fan, what do you think about this situation? Marshawn Lloyd's absence could indeed be a challenge, but it's an opportunity for other players to step up and show their value. Emmanuel Wilson and Chris Brooks have a big responsibility ahead to help the team maintain its level and ensure Josh Jacobs doesn't become overburdened. Now, we want to hear from you. How do you think the team will fare with these changes? Share your thoughts in the comments and let us know how you think the Packers can overcome this obstacle. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the news about your team. See you next time.